Jabala Parias. Number three, the decision to discover and fulfill your assignment. That is the third destiny decision that you must make, dear. The decision to discover and fulfill your assignment. Let me hurry up so that we conserve time. John chapter 4 and verse 34. John 4 and verse 34. Jesus said unto them, My meat, that means my satisfaction, comes from doing the will of him that sent me, David's Christian Center, and to finish his work. Dr. Miles Monroe, blessed memory, will always say that the wealthiest place is not the gold mines in South Africa and Congo, DRC, and all of these places, not even the oil mines in Nigeria and the Middle East, that the wealthiest place is the cemetery where dreams were never actualized, books that should have been written that were never written, and his goal was that he would die empty and even in death he cheated death you must make up your mind that this is the year you will stop living a purposeless life where someone calls you in the morning and says bros what is for today say i'm just sitting down and say can you come and that that's what defines your day purpose driven people almost need prayer to sleep because there is something consuming them there's no distraction many of you got into trouble because of idleness there is a way you can be so busy even the devil will wait for you because your level of focus and determination is such that nothing will bend your focus vision gives your life focus you are busy but not doing many things very busy if you find yourself doing many things, it's a sign that you've not found your place in life. You should be busy, but not doing many things. Do not live the kind of life where you see someone doing what you know. This is your assignment. When God finds out that you are careless over your assignment, he will look for someone who is faithfully doing his and has increased capacity. He will honor him and add your assignment to him. This is why you find out that some people start ministry and life not intending to do certain things but because god searches for available vessels and they are not there he comes to them and say can i add this to you i have seen that your stamina can take this and you say lord i love you bring it on he will multiply their honor and still grant them that grace someone can start the ministry as an evangelist but the prophet that God desired to raise is careless, not serious. When he should be born again, he's not born again. Filled with the Holy Spirit, he's still arguing about the Holy Spirit. When will you start prophesying to people? God will raise that evangelist who is available. The evangelist is going through the discipline of a prophet. God will add that prophetic to that man. You find out for five years he started with evangelism. But right now he has switched even to the prophetic because God intends for his agenda to advance and if you become an interruption to his agenda believe me he loves you but he will find the replacement this is one thing I know about God when you know you will be serious with God there is nobody who is indispensable no sir no sir don't say God lacks men there are men who don't make the mistake of Elijah to say I'm the only one. There are 7,000 others. David Christian Center, if God has given you the privilege to be a head of department, to lead a unit, do not ever let it get to you that I am the only one. It is just by meritocracy. No, sir. Because God can pick ordinary people and place something on their lives and grant them the grace. Destiny is like a relay. That means... If God desired that I run with my purpose and hand it to this man and he hands it to this man that means if I refuse to leave purpose I'm punishing these people God is too merciful to allow them suffer for my carelessness he will put a replacement
to do that work this is what is happening to many people you can look at someone and say but this is my assignment another person had to take it because for every time you delay there are multitudes suffering and god loves you but he loves them too he will not submit people in pain because you have refused to rise if i did not rise as a man of god god loves me but he will have to raise somebody who will bridge it The refusal to discover and find your place can cost you your bishopric he said his bishopric let another take ah god don't replace me i'm ever available ever available whatever